Harry made his first public appearance since Prince Philip's funeral on Sunday, when he told a vaccinated audience of 20,000 how COVID jabs should be fairly distributed around the world. Appearing along with many other international celebrities, Harry received a standing ovation when he stepped on stage for the anti-poverty group Global Citizens Concert, Vax Live, in LA's Sophie Stadium. The Royal said the whole world owed frontline workers an incredible debt of gratitude, and called on the public to commit to their shared humanity. He then said, the vaccine must be distributed to everyone everywhere. We cannot rest or truly recover until there is a fair distribution to every corner of the world. The mission in front of us is one we cannot afford to fail at and that's what tonight is about. However, unearthed reports from the Los Angeles Times suggest the vaccine rollout in Harry's home state of California could undermine his effort, where the wealthy have allegedly tried to jump the queue in recent months. The LA Times claimed, California's stern messaging about serving the neediest first hasn't stopped the rich from trying to leap ahead of teachers, farm workers and firefighters. California's plan was to prioritize health care workers, including employees at nursing facilities and long-term homes, and their residents, before moving on to those aged 65 and older. It then vaccinated those with disabilities, underlying healthy conditions, those in jails, prisons and homeless shelters before moving on to all Californians over the age of 16 from April 15. Yet, according to the LA Times, Dr. Jeff Toll at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center, one of the first U.S. hospitals to stop the vaccine, recalled one client asking, if I donate $25,000 pounds to Cedars, would that help me get in line? Dr. Toll allegedly told his patient this would not have any impact on their place in the queue. But the outlet also noted, some wealthy patients may get the shot sooner than the average person because they're members of exclusive healthcare groups that offer the kind of high-quality, primary care most Americans can't afford. Some Californian patients are on waiting lists with doctors who charge up to $25,000 pounds a year for 24-hour access to top-quality healthcare, which includes a vaccine as soon as possible. Dr. Toll said, people are willing to pay tens of thousands of dollars for a jab. Health sector anti-corruption expert from the University of San Francisco, Taryn Vian, also told the LA Times, VIP treatment is very common in the health sector. Doctors reportedly told the newspaper that celebrities and executives were even asking their assistants to secure better treatment and easier access to vaccines. Data also suggests this could be more of a problem in Harry's home state than in the rest of the U.S. According to Statista.com in November last year, California has the highest number of millionaire households in the whole of the U.S. The statistics show the Golden State has 1.14 million households with at least $1 million pounds, in investable assets. This is almost double the number of millionaire households in Texas, the next state down the list. However, there are also 12 million individuals who work in the essential industries and who make up two-thirds of California's workforce. In December, Governor Gavin Newsom promised his state will be very aggressive in making sure that those with means, those with influence, are not crowding out those that are most deserving of the vaccines. He added, those that think they can get ahead of the line and those that think because they have resources or they have relationships that will allow them to do it, we also will be monitoring that very, very closely. But, findings from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, found California ranked among the worst five states for unequal vaccine distributions earlier this year. Jabs distributed between December 14 and March 1 found those with low income, less access to health care and higher rates of COVID risk factors were less likely to be vaccinated in California. Governor Newsom then declared in March that the Golden State would dedicate 40% of its vaccine doses to the neighborhoods struggling the most in the pandemic. Harry and Meghan have already tackled the COVID crisis in several ways over the last year. They have spoken of the international grief, the struggle to socialize and the Duke, in particular, has looked into how the climate crisis may have contributed to the pandemic. When the Sussexes announced they had signed up to a chair Vax Live in April, they demonstrated they were now going to support the vaccine rollout. 
they released a statement which read, We can't leave anybody behind. We will all benefit, we will all be safer, when everyone, everywhere has equal access to the vaccine. The couple have also been leading an effort to raise money for the vaccine sharing program COVAX, which would provide jabs for medical workers and developing countries. Meghan and Harry moved to California, where the Duchess was born and raised, last spring after they officially left their royal duties behind. Although they initially tried out life in their friend Tyler Perry's sprawling mansion, the Duke of Sussex reportedly struggled living in the center of Hollywood's celebrity lifestyle. The couple then relocated to Santa Barbara, a 90-minute drive away from the heart of L.A., where they live in a peaceful community near the beach, in an $14.65 million, £11 million mansion.